The Frankfurt International Airport. It is considered one of the world's largest airports. Annually, it services 52 million passengers and 1.8 million tons of cargo. 1,500 planes take off and land here on a daily basis, and the air traffic is steadily increasing. The result is an increasingly congested airspace. This, along with economical factors, has led to the construction of larger aircraft, such as the new Airbus A380, which replaced the Boeing 747 as the world's largest civilian transport aircraft. However, the development of new superlatives gives way to another problem, as the upscaling of conventional aircraft designs has reached its limit. Thus, for future aircraft generations, entirely new concepts must be developed. One of them is the student project AC2030 at the University of Applied Sciences, Hamburg. The lift on a conventional aircraft is created solely by the wings. The fuselage, on the other hand, merely produces drag and only contributes a negligible share of the lift. The major advantage of BWB technology is that the fuselage contributes to the overall lift, just like the wing does, thus leading to fuel conservation. AC-2030 stands for Aircraft 2030 because the development of new aircraft generations currently takes about 25 years. That said, there is still a long way to go until the Super Jumbo is ready for her first flight. The present developmental stage is a model scaled 1 to 30 with a 3.2 meter span and is capable of flying. The research performed on the model consists of several different phases, some of which are taking place simultaneously. The foundation of this research can be divided into three branches. The theoretical part, which is represented by CAD modeling and computational fluid dynamics. The experimental part, tests conducted in a wind tunnel. And the practical approach, which is flight testing. An important element of aircraft development is the computational fluid dynamics. The so-called CFD simulation is a coupling of theory and experiment. CFD allows for the analyzation of the aerodynamics of an aircraft and the prediction of the mechanical characteristics of its flight. While the very first numerical projections for the project were done with only simplified geometric calculations, current simulations are performed on highly detailed CAD models of the aircraft. Touch-ups and additional improvements to the AC-2030 flying model require many working hours from the students. For the wind tunnel experiments alone, major modifications had to be made to the configuration. The flying model was painted gray. Additionally, the very light glass fiber honeycomb sandwich material had to be reinforced by an aluminum skeleton support to allow for a reliable mounting of the model in the wind tunnel.
Although it has yet to be built, an improved version 2 has been created based on an even more detailed CAD model of the AC2030. In cooperation with the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Applied Sciences Hamburg, research is being conducted to find out if it is feasible to power this enhanced version with a specially designed fuel cell. In order to find out if the data gained by the current model is scalable to a full-size aircraft, more years of research are needed.